Hey guys, welcome to Amy's Autopsy Report. My name's Amy. Uh, this video is going to be Underrated Gems from Beyond the Grave, Episode 5. Um, this movie I'm going to talk about today has been, it's been, literally, it's been on my watch list since I first heard about it years ago, and I just never got around to watching it. it kind of just, I've kind of forgot about it, I guess, because you know, it's not obscure or anything, but it seems like almost nobody ever talks about it. I just don't hear people mention it that often. Um, finally, I snagged a copy of it for real cheap and uh, gave it a watch. And man, I wish I had watched this years ago. It was so much fun. And I just feel like maybe this will help bring this to the forefront. If Or if you're like me and it's been on your list for a while and you've just not watched it, definitely give this thing a watch. And I am talking about Robert Kurtzman's The Rage, unrated director's cut, featuring music from Mushroom Head. Okay. It has Andrew Devoff and Erin Brown, a.k.a. I think she also goes by Misty Monday. And Andrew Devoff uh, was in uh, Wishmaster 1 and 2. Um, this is... Directed by Robert's, Robert Kurtzman, it's 86 minutes long, and I believe it's, I believe it's from the year 2008. So, basic plot of this movie is you have a mad scientist, and he's experimenting with this um, virus called the rage, and uh, of course, things go wrong. He's out in the middle of a barn in the middle of nowhere, which is kind of funny, but... <clears throat> Uh, obviously things go wrong and his experiments kind of go awry and one of his subjects uh, gets up and attacks him and uh, bites him and he hurries up and injects himself with the antidote but it doesn't work all the way because he starts to change already and when these people get infected with the rage it's much like what you ex would expect they start freaking out and attacking people and, like, eating them and all of that kind of stuff. <clears throat> so let me show you the back of this thing. Um, of course, Robert Kurtzman is uh, the K in K&B effects group, and they've done um, special makeup effects for things like, I mean, their list goes on and on, but, like, from Dust Till Dawn, um, K&B was involved with, the Walking Dead, I think before Greg Nicotero started doing the majority of them. Um, <clears throat> to my knowledge, Robert Kurtzman's only directed two movies, this one and another one uh, called Buried Alive. It's on the Dimension Extreme list, which I recently got also. Okay, so that's the basic plot of this. Things I liked about this movie. From beginning to end, this movie is pretty much nonstop gore. And I mean, it is a splatter fest. If you like gore and like this movie is going to keep, you know, keep the keeps the energy up like the whole time, like nonstop. And it even says like on the on the cover, it says this year's ultimate party movie by Fangoria, um, a new splatter classic, Dread Central, uh, one hell of a good time. Gory Time, Horror Hound Magazine, and so you, it's the, all that is true. All of that is true. This thing is so much fun. It's got a good element of cheesiness to it. Like I said, all practical effects, all excellent. Just a lot of fun from beginning to end. I think the only thing I didn't like about this movie is that, <clears throat> sorry, my cat Lily is like attacking things <laughs> that she shouldn't be. Um, the only thing I really didn't like about this movie, but it certainly doesn't take away from it, is, like, it gets a little, like, over-explanatory and drawn out at the end. And like I said, this movie's only 86 minutes long, so... Um, but it doesn't take away from the movie, and it certainly isn't a big enough con to not watch it. Um, the acting's a bit cheesy, but overall, it's just an absolute blast. You get, like... <laughs> not only people are infected, but... You get birds that are infected and like these birds are like, some of them are like vultures and they're, it's just like, 
it's awesome. There's like really cool puppet work and stuff in it, um, with the birds. But if you have been on the fence about this one or you, it's been on your watch list forever, like it's been on mine forever and you've just never picked up a copy and given it a watch, highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. I believe I've only watched it once because um, I just got it not long ago, but this has got rewatchability for sure. I mean, it's just so much fun. Um, yeah, definitely. Give The Rage a watch. You will not be disappointed. Um, that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you like these videos, give me a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram at Amy's Autopsy Report, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Oh, yeah.